Today I'm going to look at a CSR 8645. This is an APTX lossless music hi fi Bluetooth 4.1 board that I got from uh, IC Station. So, this Bluetooth board is very simple to connect. You just need basically your audio outputs and a power source. Now, there are and I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the schematic for it. But there are um, places that you can mount your switches for advance and you know, previous track, skip forward, skip backwards, mute, uh, etc. And you can put a microphone on here, so this can operate as a full speaker phone if you plug a microphone in. It has your audio output left, audio ground, audio output right, mute button, mic left and or mic uh, negative and positive. Here we've got our our VCC and ground, and over here this is where you would connect your different switches: volume up, volume down, next, previous, play, pause, etc. And there's your common. Um, all you need to connect this though is a 3.8 to 4.2 volt power source so a lithium battery will work perfect for this and that's what I'm going to demonstrate this with it's just going to be a very quick demonstration link to this little board is in the description I'm going to connect it up just to a set of RCA plugs and we'll connect our positive and negative wires and then we'll test this unit I'll pair it and test it with my phone so here's the outputs we're just gonna I'm just gonna solder this little short um, jumper on here because something like this would typically be plugged in right at the like right at your receiver right or at your amplifier and just hang off the back of your amp can't really mount these in a metal box or anything because uh, it'll shield the antenna so I'm just going to connect this board up for testing purposes and then when I when I get around to doing something with it I'll put it in a plastic box or something but for now we're just going to connect the audio out and a power source to it so I can test run it and we'll see how it sounds. So for that I'm just going to tin. Alright, actually I've got the leads already tinned here, so let's just plug the, the audio left and the audio right end and the ground. And uh, we'll solder it down to the board. Audio left, audio right, and ground is in the middle. The ground I'll tuck onto the back side here just because it'll give me a little more of a plane to solder onto. If you look here, here's the ground plane here and it's connected to that pin. So I'll just solder this one on the back here. Give us a little more surface area to solder to and make it a little stronger. And now the only thing that remains is the the VCC and ground. So I've got uh, a couple of leads here, which is alligator clips, so I can connect that to my my battery. Don't use the ones marked VCC and ground. They don't do anything. It's battery and ground as shown in this diagram. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I don't know why the other ones are there, but they're not connected to anything. So it's the one marked battery and ground. That's your power input.
the one marked common, which is the next one over, that one's actually for the, uh, the switches to control it, like to, to uh, skip forward and backwards and so forth. We'll be sure we connect the correct polarity. This should light up when it's got power. I would expect there to be some type of lights on here. So let's power it up now. And uh, see if it does anything. There we go. Now we got red lights flashing. Okay, now it's in, entered into pairing mode. So use the battery, not the VCC. And it's gone into pairing mode. So I'm just going to use it in my old, my really old Blackberry here. Because uh, I believe I have some royalty free music on this thing. There we go. That was the one. CSR8645. Yes. Connect successfully. So. Let's see if we can play some music. Now, if I were to connect up switches, connect my common lead here, uh, next is uh, this one. The uh, next key, as you can see, it'll change to the next track. Yep. I hit the call button to try and make a phone call. Of course, this phone's not going to make any phone calls because it hasn't been activated for at least a couple of years now. I've been through a few phones since this one. This is a really old one. The, uh, the earpiece went bad in this phone when I got it wet. And then I got another one. And uh, it's now was then replaced by this piece of junk. And then this piece of junk was replaced by a Galaxy S8. So I've had a few I've had a few cell phones over the last couple of years. So now these old ones here, I just use them for playing music. Anyway, that's that's the little Bluetooth board. It's um, pretty straightforward. If you're looking for a Bluetooth board to build into a project, this might be just the answer because this one here has got full speakerphone capability. So something like this would be perfect for building into like a ghetto blaster or something and uh, I'll be doing something like that with this on a future date we'll be incorporating this into something more than likely a ghetto blaster or maybe into a car stereo but uh, somewhere along the line this Bluetooth board will be incorporated into another project but for now that's it thanks for watching Link to this little board is in the description, and it came from IC Station. Looks to be a nice little board, and it's um, I think it's Bluetooth. I think it's Bluetooth four. Anyway, it's in the description. Um, we'll uh, catch you in the next one real soon. Bye for now.